need a three to tie. Chalmers left corner. Chalmers to LeBron for three. James misses. Rebound five. Back out to Allen. His three quarters. And he fans, right now, please welcome the radio voice of your Miami Heat, Mike Inglis. Well, I guess if we just have a look over in that corner, we'll always remember what's now known as the shot. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ray Allen. Now, Ray, we, we talked the other day about this and because you've had no such a story career has. already about how many great shots you have hit over his, your career. And you said, you know, I had to sort of take a step back to think, but I imagine that was pretty, pretty big up there. Because you yeah, guys definitely next was. Um, I think about, somebody asked me after uh, game six, was that the biggest shot that I hit my career? And I thought about it, and no disrespect to any shot or any team that I played on in the past, I was like, I'm not sure exactly. And then... The next day, we came in here, we had practice, and uh, we got ready for the shooting round, game seven. And I thought, I was like, wow, uh, right now we wouldn't be here in this moment if LeBron didn't hit a three, yeah. and then I didn't hit a three. If, if CB doesn't get that rebound, exactly. I mean, there were so many moments down the stretch uh, that allowed that shot to happen. and. Um, just incredible. So I, after game seven, I have to say that is the biggest shot I've ever hit in my career. Just known as the shot now. I think what's very impressive to all of us that watch you all the time, we know how good of a shooter you are, but to have the presence of mind to know where you were on the floor, to not step out of bounds, not step on the line, but be in the right position. You've done it so many times, it seemed like clockwork for you. Yeah, well, it's interesting because a lot of you, we have a practice court in here, and we do so much shooting. If you look back there, uh, this is the greatest collection of shooters I've ever been a part of in my life. Um, so many guys that shoot way better than I shoot. Um, one thing that we, that we laughed about, my family and I laughed about, as much as people were talking about the shot I hit, the biggest shot, probably the most exciting shot, the three that was hitting that game was Mike Miller when he lost his shoe. Shoe. I mean, that shot... That was amazing. You know, for him to hit that shot, that was incredible. One shoe three, we called it, uh, with Mike Miller. Now, you've been on a couple of the teams, and you just alluded to the fact, the camaraderie. You came in from another team, you came here, and you fit in well. It looks like a great group of guys. You've all melted together well. Yeah, most definitely. When I, when I got here, uh, within the first two weeks, I felt like I had been here for two, three years because the guys welcomed me in. Uh, so warmly, um, they've been awesome for me. To me, Richard, Bird, uh, they've treated us like long lost brothers uh, all year, and uh, that's it showed on the court. Uh, off the court, we did so many great things together. Uh, one of our biggest and best moments this year was the Harlem Shake video. Um, <laughs> Some of the most fun we all had ever, so I, I, I really appreciate that. Well, I think it's pretty safe to say you've always got a home here in South Florida, especially after the shot. Yeah, Ray thank, Allen, ladies and everybody. gentlemen. Joined now by Richard Lewis, Jawan Howard, James Jones, Joel Anthony and Jarvis Bernardo. I'll start with the alphabetical order. Joel, it's very difficult at times to be in a position like a lot of you guys are, where you don't get the opportunity to get extended minutes an awful lot. How difficult is it to be prepared as often as you guys are? Honestly, with the uh, with the group that we have, it made it it made it a lot easier for us. Uh, no, we really do have a great group. 
We really do have a great group of guys. You know, everyone's really, uh, you know, we're always behind each other. Always, uh, you know, you see us always playing three on three, just trying to stay ready. You know, always, uh, always staying with it. You know, on, on and off the court, we always felt uh, still connected to those guys. So, you know, it's great to really have something that special. Obviously, the first championship had to feel good to you. Was the second one equal, as close, or even better? Uh, it's really that much sweeter because, you know, of how hard everyone had to work to get to it. You know, obviously, we, we knew what it, what it took last year, but to be able to do it again is, uh, is obviously really hard to do. Now we move to Jarvis Bernardo, and the Boston Celtics decided in January to decide to let you go so you could play with a championship contender. What does this actually mean to you and the experience of being around such talented individuals as this team has? It's an honor, and I'm extremely blessed uh, just being around all these guys. And uh, like I said, I had fun on the ride. What are some of the things that you could take with you that you can continue into your career with that you learned through these guys over the course of the season? <laughs> Uh, I guess how hard these guys work, uh, the preparation they put into each and every game, you know, the, uh, the knowledge of the game, all that. Testing, testing. Jarvis Bernardo winning it for the very first time. We have a couple of gentlemen up here who have won it now for a second time. Juwan Howard, you said last year after winning the championship, you shocked the world. How's this one feel to you? We shocked the world! Whoa! Wow! JJ, don't hit me. Rashad, don't pinch me. I don't want to wake up. I tell you, it's a blessing, man, just to share this moment with some of the greatest guys, greatest teammates, but more importantly, my brothers. You know, I'm honored to be in this position right now. Miami, we couldn't have did it without you. Thank you, Miami. Juwan, how much does it mean to be a mentor to some of these young players that are just so talented? Can you repeat that? I said, how much does it mean to be a mentor to some of these young gentlemen that you're able to help out throughout the course of this year? Well, I'm not their mentor. You know, I'm, I'm learning from them. You know, you never get too old to learn new things. You know, I'm humbled by this experience. You know, we've all, of course, are, like, supported you know, through all the tough times, through all the good times. At the end of the day, we're family. Richard Lewis, you came here after a stellar NBA career with two All-Star appearances. You said you wanted to win a championship, so does it feel as good as the experience was? Oh, man. Mic check. <laughs> Mic check. Hey, okay. <laughs> man, it was a wonderful experience, you know, uh, coming from like, uh, day one, especially doing a free agency um, when Ray Allen sent me a, a text message uh, and told me that He's also thinking about coming down to Miami. He was one of the happiest days of his life to reconnect and be able to play along with him. Uh, we played together in Seattle for a long time, and he was able to come back towards the end of our career and win a championship together. So, you know, you can, that's something you can never forget about. Not only that, playing with, with guys like LeBron, Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, uh, to the great teammates. Uh, you hear about these guys in the media a lot, but by far, some of the best guys off the court that, 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 that there are. And, and, you know, these guys are always willing to help and giving and, and doing different things for, for not only themselves, but for the team. They're all about the team, and I had a lot of fun. Now James Jones was able to win it for a second time, and a lot of people call UD Mr. 305. Uh, it's 1A or 1B. That's the way I've always looked at it. What does this mean for somebody like yourself who grew up in the area, not only to do it once, but win it a second time? Who's 1B? There is no 1B. It's 1 and 1A. Oh, no. 1A, one, 1A. One one That's what we're Which one's five. which? Yeah, Since it. I'm yeah. talking to you, I'm going to take yeah, you as 1A. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nah, it's amazing. It's a, I mean, growing up as a kid, I had the opportunity to compete with Udonis, to play against him. His team smashed us by like 50 points, but that's beside the point. We're champions. We're co-champions. We're teammates. He has three championships. I have two championships. Thanks to my, my teammates and my brothers. Um, it's just an honor and a privilege to play with these guys. I mean, this is the hardest working team in sports, not just basketball, in every sport. From one through 15, every guy came back this year better than he was last year, and we're gonna come back ne next year better than we were this year. We're going for three in a row. Hey, James Jones, Jawan Howard, Rashard Lewis, Joel Anthony, and Jarvis Bernardo of your two-time champion Miami Heat. Now let's send it back to Jason Jackson. Tommy, thank you very much.
as we like to say when we start every show around here, it is time to say hello to the point guard number 30, Norris Cole. Good sir, two years with the National Basketball Association for you and two NBA championships. How spoiled are you? <laughs> My teammates just got, got done telling me I'm pretty spoiled, but I'm blessed to play on a team like this and I don't take it for granted. As we all know, you are a favorite son of the great state of Ohio, and when you were at Cleveland State, balling for the Vikings, you had a look that I rocked back in 1994 when I first came to town. That high top fade was something else. You put it away for a little while, but baby, it came back. It came back with a vengeance. It's taken the world by storm. I don't think you're alone anymore when it comes to rocking that high top fade. <laughs> oh. I mean, even David Beckham's rocking that thing. Jay-Z's doing it. It's Bieberized. Come on, look at that. The baby's got one already. Way to make a little money on the movie. Theaters near you. That's right. The is fading it out. Pitbull doing it, baby. You're out of control. You got the whole world rocking the face. No, she's not. Pink is not rocking it. You did something, and it's all about that fade, baby. Let's talk about some of the joy you had for your teammates in those magical moments. You are young and you are athletic, but I had no idea how high you could jump until Ray Allen knocked down the shot. Did you see him get up in the air, everybody? Let's take a peek back at Norris rising up into the sky when Ray Allen knocked down the shot. Look at you. He won't stop jumping. Get him up again. Norris, nice work being so professional. As a competitor, you want to be out on the floor at those times, but man, you gave everything you had for your teammates, didn't you? Definitely. We work together as a team. We're in it as a team. So when I'm not on the court, you know, I'm out there supporting, I'm cheering them on. I think I uh, might have the highest vertical on the team watching that video. Well, we're going to have to get the ruler out, my man. I don't know. We're going to have to figure that one out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, two-time champion, he is Norris. <laughs> 